Hello everyone, so welcome back to another video where we will be solving DAX best interview questions that has been asked for the positions of data analyst Power BI developer uh, in companies and this time I have picked these four questions that has been asked at Swiggy. So you know Swiggy the online food ordering company. So these questions are shared with me from one of my LinkedIn connections on LinkedIn. And in today's video, I'm going to solve the about two questions, these two questions. And there will be part two of this video where I'll be solving the below two questions. So without further ado, let's get started. So on what data I'm going to perform these calculations. Let me tell you about the data set. However, like uh, I did not get any data set related to the food or drink company, but uh, we have some similar kind of data where we can also perform those calculations here the idea is just to clarify our concepts understand the problems and how can we solve this using DAX and you can follow that DAX pattern or that solution on any data it will give us the correct result so the data that I'm gonna work is the Northwind data set when I'm having the central Factable cells and it is surrounded by dimensions table and the relationship is one to many it means both all these tables can filter the cells table and I'm also having measure table to storing my measures so without further ado let's get started okay so question number one write a DAX measure to calculate the week over week growth in total sales so we have here to calculate week over week growth but in power bi if you know we can easily calculate year over year growth month over month growth quarter over quarter growth because there are some time intelligence functions that lets us go back in the time period by week by a month by quarter like day date or same period last year parallel period but uh, this is specific to the weeks so here we have to work uh, uh, with uh, weeks so there is not any kind of standard time intelligence functions that we can use uh, to uh, calculate week over week growth but however like with some other functions we can do that so how i'm gonna pick here table visual because it is easy to visualize the data in tables and i'm gonna pick here year column from my date table because this is the time related field and we pick each and every time related field from our date table always okay so i picked up here i have to pick week number and i'm gonna go don't summarize so it has given me all the weeks of the years so we have to calculate week over week growth in total sales so let me tell you the measure i've already created so this is nothing but the sales amount column sum of sales amount column this is my total sales let's drag this in the measure uh, in the visual okay so you can see it is giving me the split week wise right now what i can do is that i can start writing my measure so let's go here and write click new measure let's name it as growth percent week over week Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to create a variable and let's name this variable as current week sales. So my current week sales would be nothing but I think it has hanged. Okay, now it is giving me the suggestions total sales. I am not changing here any kind of filter context because I have to get the current week sales. So if we don't change any filter context, we always get the current week sales. How? Let me tell you. I'm going to return this. So let's visualize like for each row in my table visual. What does it return? Let's drag this. So you can see, let me set it to zero. So you can see for each row it is uh, uh, respecting the current filter context which is on week and giving us the similar values. 
right so this is what we wanted now i can declare another variable and here i am interested in calculating previous week sales here i can make use of calculate function because we have to calculate total sales in a modified filter context we have to shift the time period one week back okay so here i can specify like calculate total sales for week number in my date table but it should be equal to the current week number so current week number will give me the max of week number this will give me the current week number okay so this week number should be equal to current week minus one so this will give me the previous week sales how so let's suppose i am current in i am uh, at week number nine so max of week number will give me week number nine and nine minus one will evaluate to eight so it will give me the eight so for this row it will give me the sales for the eighth week this is how it will calculate in the back end so we can also visualize this by returning this variable previous week sales so let us see what does it return okay i have dragged it two times it was already there so you can see like uh, for week two it is giving me the previous week sales for week three previous week sales so it is giving us the correct correct result now we can complete our formula what we can do we can return divide current week sales minus previous week sales divided by previous week sales so this will give me the percent value growth percent value okay so it has given me some values but let's convert it into the percentage okay so now you can clearly see it has given me the values and week over week growth but at the total level here you can see it is giving me the value which is of no use like you know how power bay handles total when we change the filter context so we can also get rid of that how so we can say like if is in scope week number then only calculate the growth this growth true condition otherwise give me blank so it will not give me any kind of percent value at total level so here you can see total has gone away okay so let's solve question number second in our list so question number second is the uh, this which is write at x formula to calculate the cumulative sales date wise so what i've done i have picked up the table visual and from my date table i have dragged the date column so since here i have to calculate total sales cumulative date wise so let's drag the total sales as well okay so the total sales is splitting based on that so what does this cumulative sales date wise what does it mean it simply means that uh, i have to calculate uh, the rolling sum based on that so suppose like if i am in current date to july 2017 so the cumulative sales would be this plus the above cell and for uh, 8 july the cumulative sales would be 25544 plus all the sales of the previous states so this is what the cumulative sales means so how can we calculate this let me tell you i'm gonna go here and go new measure uh, let's name it as cumulative sales date wise so i'm gonna go and make use of calculate x function here and here we have to calculate total sales in the modified filter context right so i'm gonna pick total sales which is the measure and in filter context i'm gonna make use of filtered x function 
here I have to first remove all the filters from my calendar table which is state table so I'm gonna clear all the filter then my filter expression would be that my date column from date table should be less than or equal to max of date so this is a simple text question let me tell you what does it return okay so let's format it I'm gonna set it to zero okay so here you can clearly see let's make it thousand separators okay so clearly you can see for 1st July the cumulative sales is 28409 but for 2nd July the sales was this but it has some of these two values and given us here similarly it has rolls up every sales date wise so how does it is being calculated by power bi so it is because of the dex function we have written since we have um, remove all the filters from the date table so it will not respect this date column if it would have respected this date filter so it will give us a uh, very value of the total sales but here we are uh, calculating sales in the modified filter context which is yeah which is removing all the filters from the date because here we have modified the filter from this expression and the date should be less than or equal to all the date of the previous dates so this will evaluates to max will give me the current date the maximum date right so suppose here i am here at 12 july so max will return here 12 july and since we have mentioned that calculated total sales where the dates are less than or equal to the max of date so for 12 July the dates which are less than or equal to this max would be all the date of the previous period so this is how it is being evaluated so yes this is all about this video and I'm gonna solve these two questions in the next video in part two I'll gonna upload that soon as well so thank you so much for your time and yeah I'll see you in next video